Hello, welcome to Theosophy in Wales. I'm Dave Marsland. Reincarnation and nationalism. Well, nationalism can be a very destructive and divisive force, but it can also be positive and creative. Now, for this presentation, I'm going to talk about nationalism, uh, not ethnicity, which is slightly different. I'll um, leave ethnicity um, for another presentation. I mean, nationalism is probably at its most insidious when emotional attachment to national identity turns it into an emotionally transcendent experience, um, a sort of intoxication. And of course there are negative karmic consequences for the individual um, when nationalism leads to xenophobia and intolerance. Um, unfortunately, um, nationalism is only thought of in purely negative terms, um, generally, um, of, probably because there are many examples uh, where extreme emotional nationalism has been exploited. Um, now, there is positive nationalism. Theosophy postulates that all nations have a purpose in the evolution of humanity and that every nation has something to offer the world. Now a nation can provide the framework for talented and creative people um, to offer something of value to humanity. Um, positive nationalism can mean preserving the traditions and culture um, of a nation so that it may continue to fulfil its purpose in evolution. Um, with um, reincarnation and nationalism, two final points. Um, nations don't last forever. They often they fill their, fulfil their purpose. Uh, and then they evolve into, into something else, new nations may form. Um, but a, na a nation doesn't, doesn't last forever. Um, also, when it comes to reincarnation, um, nationality is temporary, and you may have a different nationality uh, in your next life.